Hi 6B, my name is Noah. Today I'll be showing you how to make a sea dragon in plasticine. This is the plasticine that I usually use. I buy it at the art store, but sometimes the art store does not have the colors that I need, so I found out that I can use this brand from the dollar store and it works as well as the other. For today's art piece, I'm going to need dark green, light green, purple, white, red, yellow, and black plasticine. I will also need this little toy tool to make holes for the eyes. To start off, I will be making a dragon's head first. So I grab a piece of dark green and I roll it a couple of times in my hands to make it softer. Then I pick Make a smaller piece of green to make the mouth. I divide it into two pieces. They're going to be the top and bottom part of the mouth. I flatten the pieces slightly and then I attach them to the head. This is how it looks like after I attach the mouth pieces together. The next step is making the nostrils. So I grab two small amounts of green clay, roll them into two small balls, and attach them to the top jaw. This is how it looks like after. For the next step, I use my little handy tool and I poke holes for the eyes and the nostrils. Now I can start making the eyes. I take a little piece of yellow clay and roll it into two little balls. Then I place the eyeballs in the eye holes. After that, I take a little piece of black clay and roll it into a small line shape. The next step is the dragon's eyebrows. I take a little small piece of green and roll it into a small line and attach it on top of his eyes. I'm making him look fierce. I slightly adjust his jaw in order to make it the inside of his mouth for the next step. I use red clay. I grab a piece and make a longer flat shape. Then I place it inside his mouth. This is how it looks like after I place red clay inside his mouth. For the next step, I will be making the dragon's teeth. For that, I will need white clay. This is how it looks like when you place the teeth all inside the mouth. Next, I'm gonna be making the lips. I grab a piece of clay and I roll it up into a long snake form. And then I attach it. minor adjustments this is what the mouth looks like next step is the body neck and tail I'm gonna be stretching the neck a little a little and I'm crushing it with my finger and then I start to make the tail Cur then I attach the head to the neck I gently push it and then little minor there voila 
The next part is the purple gills for the back. I grab a piece of purple clay and I flatten it. This is how your gills would look like. Next, I attach them to the body. First from the head and then all the way until the end. And there you have it. Next, I'm gonna be making the gill hands. First, you take a piece and then roll it up and curve it. Then you put a little piece here. And then the next part, you grab another piece and put it inside. And then another piece, put it right in the center. This is how it looks like with the fins. The next step, I'm shaping the tail fin. I finished my tail fin. Now I am attaching it to the body. Done. For the last step, I'm going to make the finer details, like black balls in the nostrils. And adding a yellow piece on top of the gills, the yellow tops mean that the dragon is poisonous. This is how my dragon looks at the end. Thanks for watching.